It's Monday, June 17th, 2013, and let's talk about what happened this weekend over at xtdevelopers.com. This episode of XDA Developer TV is brought to you by Sony Mobile and the new Sony Xperia Tablet Z, now on sale at store.sony.com tablet. Be sure to check out Sony Mobile's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Sony Xperia Dev. Developer World. First up, really interesting story in my opinion. Normally when you're talking about NFC related to a device, you're talking about what happens when you smack your device against a tag or against another device. You don't normally talk about what happens when you pull the device away from that. Well, XDA forum member Madfish73 apparently had exactly that idea in mind when he came up with a minor modification you can do to your device where you combine any tag NFC with a, like I said, minor modification to the NFC APK for your device to add in a tag lost intent, which enables your device to be able to detect when it's been removed from another NFC device or another NFC tag. And when you put that in conjunction with something like Tasker or one of those alternatives that have been talked about by Kevin here on the channel, you can have things like what are talked about in the article, a bedside mode where you put it down on the NFC tag, something happens, you take it back off, it goes back into normal mode. You put it in a car dock mode when you put it in your car. It touches the NFC tag, you're in car dock mode, take it off, you're back in normal mode. I could see this going one step farther actually, where you have it sitting on your desk, you're in desk mode, maybe you have it at your work, at work desk, uh, and if you don't have a second tag beside it or you have a second tag in your wallet or something where if you take it off of your desk tag and don't within a certain amount of time touch the other one, an alarm goes off. That could be interesting. Uh, it would also be potentially obnoxious, but a good method of security. You know, if you have it on your laptop when you're at a coffee shop, and then whenever someone picks it up and walks away with it, it starts blaring at them, you immediately know the problem. Now, there are apps already out there for things like this, but still, there's a lot of potential for, for having that tag lost intent available now. So if you've ever wanted to do something kind of new and unique and original with your device related to NFC, you might want to take a look at this minor modification. And moving right along. Earlier this year, we talked a lot about Ubuntu for touch, Ubuntu touch coming for all sorts of different devices, things like that. And the news about it has sort of started to trail off, but there are still a lot of really active ports in the works, and the guys at Canonical are working hard every day to make sure that Ubuntu touch becomes more and more usable, more user-friendly, lots more applications becoming available, all sorts of stuff like that. Well, in that exact same vein, XDA senior member Ting Tingin has created a list of 41 devices that do have working Ubuntu touch ports available for them now. At least the ones that have had some sort of work done on them that's Ubuntu Touch related. So if you are interested in trying out Ubuntu Touch for your device, head on over to his thread on the forum, get all the information, see where your device is, what state it's in, things like that. And actually in that exact same vein, XDA DevCon, like I've talked about before, is coming up in August, and we have one more confirmed speaker that is related to the previous story. Community Manager John O'Bacon is going to be talking all about Ubuntu unification at XDA DevCon for us. I've had the pleasure of meeting John a couple of times in the past, and I do look forward to seeing him again at DevCon. I hope that you, if you are in the area, are able to come out. Do make sure to check out that co coupon code for your discount on your ticket. I mentioned it in the previous video, so you can always go back and find the link to that there. And to wrap things up, there were two other videos posted to XDA Developer TV this weekend. The first video was how to win at a hackathon as a rookie, essentially talking all about hackathons, what they are, and how people can, can be successful at them. And the second video, extremely interesting video, talking about Ladies Learning Code, where he has an interview with the creator of Ladies Learning Code, talking all about women working in the programming industry. So if you are a lady looking to learn more about development, definitely head on over and check out his video on that. Loads of great information out there, loads of wonderful female developers out there in the world, so it sounds like a really good match. Anyway, that's going to be about all from me for today. As always, thank you so much for watching. Do make sure to hit that like button down below the video if you did like this video, and subscribe to receive our content as soon as it becomes available. And as always, I will see you again on Friday.